Good morning, Kingdom Kids. It's Pastor Leslie. I hope you had an amazing week. As always, I love you so much, and I'm so praying for you every, every week. Listen, let me tell you something. We are in our second beatitude. For those of you all who missed last week, please go back and watch it. We introduced the topic of beatitudes, which means blessed or happy, and we discovered that God loves it when we admit that we need him. Yes, the beatitude is blessed are those who are poor in spirit for theirs is the kingdom of heaven and we discovered that all we have to do is just say god i need you and god is so happy when we say god we need you you can need god for anything but god wants us to realize that we actually need him in everything that we do we need him in our spiritual lives um, to help us to focus on him to help us to pray to him we need god to do all of those things we can't do anything by ourselves can Kingdom kids. But this week, I want to focus on the second beatitude. It's Matthew chapter 5, verse 4. And it says, Jesus says, blessed are those who mourn for they shall be comforted. Now, Kingdom Kids, I have something to tell you, and I want to be just completely honest with you all because I love you, is that I was sad this week. Yes, I was sad. I lost someone who was very uh, dear to me. Uh, you all probably saw it uh, through television, watching church, Deacon Melvin. He was so important to me as a child. He would take me and uh, quiz me on Bible questions, and he would just really pour into me. And so when I heard that he died, I was sad. Do you know that this scripture, when Jesus says, blessed are those who are, who are mourning, that means that those who are sad, those who actually are able to admit that they're sad, happy are those who are sad. I know that kind of mean that doesn't make sense, right? What does Jesus mean by this? But you all, we can't get really uh, what God wants us to do or who God wants us to be or really even get close to God if we pretend that we don't feel emotions. God invented emotions. He gave us emotions. What are emotions? Happy, sad, fearful, disappointed, angry. Um, maybe you may be able to communicate how you feel when you look at uh, a list of emojis when you're texting. You know, God wants us to say, I feel sad. And do you know that after I cried, I felt a little better, but I had to think about it like Deacon Melvin is in heaven. Deacon Melvin is no longer here on earth, but he's in heaven right now. And so you all, I don't know what happened this week. I don't know if you had a great week, if you had an amazing week. That's awesome. But you all, I want you all to know that it's okay to be sad. It's okay to cry. Um, my gentlemen, my boys, I know this could be difficult, but Jesus wept. <laughs> yes, Jesus wept. Uh, there's a story in scripture in John 11, when one of Jesus's friends dies, Lazarus, when Jesus uh, gets to the house and he hears about everything that's happening, he actually weeps. You all, if Jesus could weep, all of us could weep. And it wasn't because he didn't know what to do. He eventually resurrected. That just means he he raised Lazarus from the dead. Lazarus was dead. And when Jesus came, he changed the situation and Lazarus was alive. But he was weeping because we are in a relationship with God who cares for us. When we're sad, God wants to know about why we're sad. He, he wants to enter into our pain. That just means that we can bring all of those emotions to us. Maybe you're having a hard time being at home. Maybe you're having a hard time missing your friends. Maybe someone in your family may have passed away. But I want you to know that Jesus says that when we're sad, that he is going to comfort us. Now, listen, there's so many things that make God sad. Um, how do I know this? Is that God wants us to be in relationship with him. And the thing that stands in the way sometimes or all the time, if we don't acknowledge it or we don't confess it, is sin. Sin is all the wrong things that we do. So when Jesus said, blessed are those who mourn for they will be comforted, he meant the things that make us sad. But he also meant that, you know, sin can make us sad. Have you ever felt sad about some of the things you have done before? Jesus says that you will be comforted. There's some things that I've done that I look back and I say, I'm sad. I don't, I don't feel too good about what I did. But I know that through Jesus, because I'm forgiven, I can be comforted. 
Now, Kingdom Kids, I want you to know just three things if you don't remember anything else. Number one, it's okay to be sad. It's okay to be sad. Number two, God will meet you in whatever emotion you're feeling. If you're feeling sad, if you're feeling afraid, if you're feeling um, angry, God will meet you in that emotion and he will comfort you. But you have to bring it to him, Kingdom Kids. And so I want you to just say a prayer and to say, God, help me right now. Help me right now in whatever emotion I'm feeling. Sometimes we don't necessarily know what to say. We don't have the words to say to God, but we can just go and sit before God. Sometimes I just go and sit before God. I don't know what to say to God. And God understands that. Why? Right? Because he knows us, he made us, and he can be empathetic. That just means he can enter into how you're feeling. So, Kingdom Kids, I love you so much. And I want you to know that God can handle whatever emotion you're feeling today. Now, would you join me in a word of prayer? Father God, we thank you, Lord Jesus, that you are just um, so amazing, God, that you will allow us to have a relationship with you and that we can be honest about how we feel. So I pray for every child that they would know that they belong to a God who cares about every emotion they're feel, feeling, Lord. I pray that this week we would feel your comfort and only how you can comfort us, God. Lord, I thank you so much for everything you've done for us. Please continue to bless us and protect us. It's in Jesus' name. Amen. Kingdom Kids, I love you so much. Remember to share this and tell me you're watching. All right, have an amazing week.